Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and let's take a quick look at the Finnick browser. This is Firefox Mobile for Android and we're doing it on the Nexus One. This is pre-release, this is not even alpha, it's pre-alpha, it's not even beta. So there are bugs, it will close, it will crash, but it's really cool to play with right now. So here's the deal. What really has me excited is Weave, all right? This will sync your history and your passwords and your bookmarks and your tabs, tabs that are open on your desktop computer, you can open up here. On the left-hand side, you scroll to the left like that, and you have kind of your address bar and your refresh button, cool. Those are open tabs, right? And then you've got another bar on the right. So you see that, and we'll get back to that in a minute. But Weave is what's really cool. The ability to just sync everything over and to get up from your computer and walk to your phone and open everything up. So there's a quick look at how it zooms right now. There's no multi-touch, so right now you can just very rudimentary zoom in and zoom out, right? No multi-touch. That we assume will change by the time they get around to uh, finalizing this. Remember, this is very, very early. I can't stress that enough. But there you go. You got tabs that were open from the last time I was messing with this. Tabs from other computers. And that's the little button you push to open up a new tab and you can see all your bookmarks. I haven't been able to get it to sync up with Weave yet. I'm going to keep playing with that and hopefully we can get that done. But these are uh, the preloaded bookmarks that are already there. There you have an address bar that you're kind of used to, right? That looks pretty normal. Let's go to the Firefox help page and just take a quick look at that. Look at that. I mean, that looks like a normal web page. It's pretty impressive for a pre-alpha browser, right? Now let's go to everybody's favorite website, AndroidCentral.com, and let's see if I can type it right on the first try. Oh, look at that. I got it. I am on Wi-Fi and everything loads up pretty quick right now, actually. The page itself takes a little second to load. I don't know if that's the browser's fault, if that's the connection's fault, whatever. But as you can see, it looks pretty darn good already. There you see the little refresh icon on the top left to show you it's loading. And there you go, there's the whole thing, right? That looks like the normal browser. Uh, the width looks normal, it's sized correctly, that's pretty cool. Uh, here we see some tiling issues. Again, we expect that to get better as the browser progresses. There is no flash here, right? So don't even think about that yet. Now on the right-hand bar, you've got the refresh button. You've got the little star button. That's how you bookmark pages, right? Then you have forward and back. And down at the bottom, you have settings. So let's go dive into that real quick. Here are the preferences, okay? You've got three kind of sets of preferences. The main one, go to page, Phoenix start, you can choose the start page, you can turn images on and off if you're on a slow connection, you can turn JavaScript on and off, that will speed up loading significantly probably, haven't really messed with that yet. You can turn cookies on and off and you can tell it to remember passwords or clear your private data. You have a download section, I haven't downloaded anything yet so there's nothing in there. Here are the add-ons. Now, the basic principle of Finnick is that it uses the same rendering engine, engine as uh, Firefox on your desktop. So it's supposed to be able to run the exact same add-ons. Uh, Weave, Weave Sync up there that you see, that's an add-on that I've already added, so that works. Uh, let's try to add one here. We'll just search for bookmarks and, and see if it can find that because there are a whole lot of bookmark add-ons. Might not work. Again, this is pre-alpha. This is very bleeding edge kind of stuff, but that's what we like to bring you. So bookmark, we'll see. It might have a connection problem. And searching, uh, couldn't retrieve add-ons. All right, fine. Uh, but it does work. That's how I got the weave sync. So hopefully I can get that to sync up and basically have my desktop here on my phone. I mean, how cool is that? Scrolling actually works pretty well. And again, we expect that to get much smoother over time. Do not take this as a representation of what the browser will ultimately look like, right? Uh, we would assume to get multi-touch at some point too. It, landscape does work. You can flip it over and look how quickly that switched. I mean, that was just no hesitation at all. There, that's about as close as we can zoom in. That's pretty readable. Uh, hopefully we can get proper zoom and, and really get in on things. Let's go do the ACID 3 test. This is a test, if you don't know about browsing, this is a test that checks to see how well a page or a browser actually renders a page, right? How accurately, if it does all the things it's supposed to. And uh-oh, look at that. Accidents.org, that's not right. And the trackball didn't work. So that's something that doesn't work in the browser. Again, pre-pre-alpha. So 
nobody freak out. Acidtest.org, and let's go take a look. This is the Acid 3 test. Run it on your browser sometime, see how your browser stands up to it. There we go, chugging along, and we're trying to get 100 out of 100 here, and let's see how close it gets. 76, 96, and that's it, 96 out of 100. So not quite perfect, but pretty darn close for a browser that is pre, 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 pre-alpha, right? And there you go, Finnick on Android.